in this one, we are going to be importing just the uh, basics for arms and a weapon. So I've been setting up, this is not my 1911. However, I've been just rigging it up and making some animations along with it so that we have something to use as kind of a base to really test our, um, what do you call it? Just to get started on our gunplay, so to speak. So what you'll have is a link in the description to download a RAR file. So when you extract it, it will be met with this folder. Open it up. Here's the blend that contains pretty much everything that is actually used in this. So if you want to, I don't know, do something with it, change it, see how it's set up and all that kind of stuff, you can. And then we have these two folders. Well, what you're going to want to do is go to your content and drag these folders in. And I did not mean to re-import like that. So I'm going to cancel and hope it didn't break anything. Okay, everything still seems to be good. So it's got a different folder structure in it. So we have our character, FPS, then we have our arms, which contains, currently I don't have any, uh, I haven't done any texturing work to it, but we have our arms with our skeleton. I'm going to leave that up because I'm going to show you an example here in a second. And we have animations, animations for the 1911. This contains idle, idle while aiming down sights, and a transition to aiming down sights, like so. And then in our weapon, ignore this, that's just for a test. I'm going to end up probably ditching it. For a weapon, we have our 1911, including a fire animation. So one thing that you're going to need to do is open up the material, and odds are these first two nodes will be showing an error. So all you have to do is simply delete and delete, and those two nodes are the base color and the roughness. So once they're deleted, you just click and drag them back in like so, like that, and then link up the base color, RGB to base color, and the RGB to roughness, like so, and then apply. So I want to give a quick example on what was done to actually kind of set up the uh, animations because it's done differently than in our, well, in my Blender series where I imported, well, made FPS animations in Blender and imported them into Unreal Engine. And so far I'm liking this route a lot better. So if I head into Unreal Engine, let me click on the, let me get a pose, hang on a second. Here we are. So here we have pretty much, it. this is the same rig that and uh, mesh that was used in the previous, well, in that series I was just talking about, minus one thing. I went ahead and added a bone. I call it B underscore weapon grip. And it is a child of this hand IK. So pretty much what we do is with our weapon here, I take the armature, and I have it set to copy the transforms of the weapon grip, which is this bone right here. So if I move it, it moves the weapon around. So that allows me to not have to do any work inside of Unreal Engine to manually try to position the weapon. So it'll look just like this. So for example, if I open up the idle animation, let me get up on it. We have our weapon grip bone. And I just made a simple socket off that. I'd rather attach it to the socket instead of the bone. Let me actually rename this. Uh, so what you're going to have to do, because you're probably not going to have this socket actually. Let me delete it. So go to B underscore weapon grip. Right click on it. Add socket. Then click on the socket. And we're going to add a preview mesh of the 1911 for testing. As you can see, the scale is kind of insane. Let's change it to 0 0.1. Okay, 0 0.01. Like so. 
to get the scale to match. And then because it's parent to the B underscore weapon grip, it handles everything perfectly. Everything is lined up just like we would have it inside a blender. So I'm going to rename the socket to S underscore weapon. Or, yeah, I guess just weapon socket. And save it. And this is how we're going to be attaching all of our weapons to just this socket. And because I'm going this route, I'm going to have to end up adding a uh, extra bone to the mannequin, I think. So we might end up not be using the default mannequin skeleton. Unless I think of another way, which my other thought was to use a bone on the weapon itself. Like just an extra bone that attaches to the hand, but then I could see some issues kind of arising out of that. So I decided against it. So anyways, you should now have well, the arms, the animations for the arms, such as the idle. Uh, I did not actually export the fire. Let me, that's one thing I forgot to do. This will also be included in the, um, whatchamacallit. Nineteen eleven ADS fire. Oh yeah, it is in there. I just never imported it into the engine. Yeah, let me just drag it in. Select the arm skeleton and import. There, now I have it. So you will have animations for idling, transitioning from idle to aim down sights which we may or may not use depending on how well it blends. We have an idle animation while aiming down sights, just to give it a little breathing effect, and a aim down sight fire animation, which is pretty much just the basics that we will need until we move into, uh, well, just for the basics of setting up our gunplay. And later down the road, once we are kind of happy with it, we're happy with like a damage system for the zombies, we will go on to actually setting up the ammo to work kind of how it did in World of War, including like setting up reloading animations and stuff like that, which obviously I have not made yet. So hopefully you got that set up just decently, and if you didn't, feel free to comment and I'll try to lend a hand. But that is, uh, yeah, we're set up and we're good to go. So we can now start working on our gunplay. So I will see you in the next one.